Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be the last speed paint drawing for Inktober 2017, or as I called it, failed Tober 2017. If this is the first time you watched this from my series for this year, I called it the failed Tober because number one, it's obviously already December, and number two, I did fail Inktober because I quit on day 21, I think, or something like that. But I decided, as I mentioned in a video before this, that I do want to continue the challenge and at least finish up the remaining days. So this is the video that leads up to the final day where I do actually do something pretty fun and grand at the very end. So, yeah. This is going to be from day 28 to day 31. And I didn't actually stick the themes, but I'll talk about that when we get there. So, what have I been up to a little bit? So, yesterday I was supposed to upload this video, though I didn't record the voiceover until now. And I was sort of out for the entire day yesterday, which was a Saturday. Uh, I was actually at work in the office, though it was for this really fun workshop that one of my office mates organized. And I was invited as a guest speaker to teach people the basics of watercolor. And it was actually pretty fun. It's my first time teaching anyone uh, on watercolor or art in general because I can teach stuff like normal subjects, math, English, yada yada, as, as well as anyone could. But actually teaching art techniques really entailed a lot of preparation. Um, I made some slides and I really had to boil everything down to the basics as much as possible. So I started with a um, Type of watercolors you can get like you can get pan paints and tube paints um i had to differentiate like artistic from from artist and student quality paints i had to differentiate the types of paper like cold press and hot press and why you shouldn't use use normal sketchbook paper if you're, if you're planning to do like really layered and detailed pieces um i taught them like basic techniques like layering watercolor letting it dry uh, wet on wet techniques, dry on wet techniques, dry on dry techniques, uh, washes, um, stuff like that. Also some basic, uh, like basic art material care, so like washing your brushes and stuff like that. So <laughs> it actually took me nearly the entire day just to create the slides because I needed to make sure that if I say something, I'll be able to define it for them or they wouldn't be like lost in a bunch of jargon and terminology of the art sphere. It was fun, but <laughs> it was actually quite a bit of an effort to do it. But it's pretty fun to watch people you taught or you somewhat introduced into watercolor to just kind of have fun with it. Um, usually, I've heard from a lot of people that watercolor is like the most intimidating. Though I would disagree, I find oil to be the most is intimidating it feels so like pro and mastery but um i can see why watercolor is like intimidating to get into but it's fun to see people just like enjoy something that you yourself enjoy and even if you can't really talk about like really high level techniques or not that there's a lot to be honest because i couldn't really teach them techniques either because a lot of the way that like the way that i watercolor or draw um, it's a style I developed out of need. Uh, I took painting a painting class in college as part of my course. So I needed to pass, I needed to get the grade, I needed to develop as quickly as possible in a month or two so that I could pass decent works and, you know, not fail the class and be able to graduate from college. So the way that I paint is highly different from the way other people paint and the techniques that I sort of developed are things that I either developed by trying to copy a certain technique without actually seeing how they did it or simply watching YouTube videos so I can only answer them specifically when they ask me how to do a certain effect and I think that's something that they'll be able to learn by themselves as they if they keep on drawing in the future which I hope they do because art is fun and it's relaxing it's a good outlet for things, so 
I really do hope that they continue, you know, trying to do art in the future, even if they don't know how to draw and stuff. So on the same day, it was actually three sessions. So mine was the very first. It was watercolor, and then someone else was invited to do acrylic paints, which was pretty cool. I am somewhat familiar with acrylic paints. I'm see. I'm sure you've seen them, in or no, maybe not even. Um, if you if you're an old subscriber, you know I've done an acrylic painting once, and I've mentioned several times in my videos that I am versed in acrylic and oil as well, though not as you know in depth as watercolor. So for acrylics, I did learn a lot of new things like how to use the different brushes and what they can do with certain effects. Uh, one difficulty I had is that I tend to over dilute my acrylics because I'm used to watercolor, so I learned how to like control that a bit more and like sort of trust the viscosity of the acrylic a bit more. Um, I learned how to, it's the first time I actually used a palette knife that day. <laughs> it was pretty fun. And I also learned that you can use acrylic on paper, like just really thick paper, just not, it's not only for canvas use only. Cause I was trained to use it on canvas, but I didn't know you could use it on paper. And canvas can get a little bit expensive, even though they're very cheap ones now, it tends to get a little expensive if you're not gonna really use it a lot. But that was fun, I really enjoyed learning new stuff for acrylic. And the last session was on calligraphy and like, you know, modern brush calligraphy. And that was really cool because I always wanted to get into it but I thought you would, I thought you needed like a speedball pen or I thought you needed like a legit calligraphy pen or brush for it but um, just continuously writing names and learning how to adjust your line weight to create certain effects is actually super fun. Like last night, all I could do was keep on writing my characters' names to just get the flow of it and how to, you know, not keep my hand from shaking and stuff like that. That is cool. That is cool. I really enjoyed it, even though I was unable to upload my video for yesterday. Um. I haven't really been consistent since Inktober, so hopefully I'll be able to get back into it. What else? Oh, I got a new monitor lately. Uh, for those who don't know, or if you didn't really notice it in particular, for the past year plus or more, I've been using a TV, a flat, quote-unquote, flat screen TV as my monitor for my computer because the screen on my laptop is busted. It has a crack down on the middle and it no longer displays any image. So I have it hooked up by, via HDMI to a TV, but the TV was old and the color contrast is horrid. There were already lines on the screen, so that really screwed up with my colors as well. And whenever I would try to draw or design using the TV, the colors were extremely different from how it turned out on my phone, for example. So that really wouldn't do for color sensitive work. So I've been avoiding um, doing any digital stuff on it lately or if I do do something like graphic design on it, it had to be on that computer throughout or else it would like screw up when I go to another computer and see like, oh shit, it's completely different. Um, that's why I also haven't been live streaming. If you follow me on Facebook, I actually do announce there every now and then. Actually, yeah, I always announce there when I live stream, but for the past months or two, I haven't been doing that either because I got fed up with the TV just screwing over my colors. But now I have a new monitor, I can do it again. It's a Samsung uh, LED 19.5 inch monitor in elegant black, and the color contrast is beautiful, the sharpness is beautiful, and you know. I will actually upload a video of me unboxing it and a bit of the setup, though it did got cut off in the end since it is difficult to move with my phone, like barring the way and stuff like that. But I did record the entire unboxing. Which actually, it was actually funny because I guised the unboxing as me um, pretending to like record it so that if there's any damage, it's like straight out of the box, it's caught on video. But in reality, I was actually recording it for a YouTube video, so shh, just not, let's not tell my relatives that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool, cool. Um, things have been pretty good lately. 
uh, after that really long period of sickness and like being done the dumps because I was simply too sick to do stuff, I think I feel like things are finally getting better. Uh, my wallet situation isn't as nice since it's Christmas season, but hey, that happens. Right, so we're actually finally on day 31, and I sh- actually came back to the theme because like on day 29 and 30, I just decided to draw my original characters because I didn't really like the theme. But on day 31, I decided to go back to it. And even though this is my original character, I still went with the theme of masks. And I went all out on the last day like I did last time by adding color to it and like actually like mixing ink and color to it. So it turned out pretty cool, I think. So... What happens after now is that I'll be going back to my regular scheduled content. that be like watercolor stuff, fan art, some occasional fun little stuff. I am gonna do a sketchbook flip through of the Inktober stuff that I did. And then I have a Christmas card thing-ish in the works. If I get to finish the digital painting and drawing rather, the digital drawing that I didn't finish from months and months ago. I'll queue that up as well already. And regarding for a Christmas drawing, I will do something Christmas themed. I'm just not sure of how special it'll be. Because if you were here last year, for December, I uploaded an acrylic painting for my Christmas video. And that was supposed to be like a special thing because it was like to end the year or to celebrate Christmas. And that was because acrylic was something I did really do a lot. Even now, I haven't really done any acrylics since then. But I'm not sure what I'll be doing this year to make it special or like cool or different than my usual content. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let's talk about Inktober for a bit. Yes, I failed it on day 21 and I did continue it after that. After like I sort of burned out of it a little. Uh, you can watch my older videos where I, when I did come back to like listen to my mental state and stuff like that after it. But I did fail in October. It is called Fail October now for me. But I'm, I am happy I end up continuing it because it feels better that I still managed to accomplish it even though it was pretty late and I didn't really particularly stick by the rules anymore. But it's nice like to get that project finished. And It was nice that I was able to do it without burning out in the last couple of days. So now I'm using my Fairy Castle Polychromos pencils to add color to it. While the lines, I used a Kuretake Cambio brush pen to, you know, just play around with it. And I feel like I have better control over it now since I used it so much for Inktober. And I also used it for the calligraphy class yesterday. So. It's a lot easier for me to flick it around and stuff like that now. And my hands shake a little less now when I use it. Because like, it shakes out of trying to control it and stuff like that. But did I learn anything for Inktober? Um, not anything drastic. But it did make me feel a bit more comfortable using the brush pen. Um, I have been somewhat comfortable with doing monochrome stuff, but I don't do it very often. But I don't know, it's just an interesting challenge and well it's too late to do November since it's already December, but I might actually do it sometime and not like a daily thing, more like just um color hued related stuff. Actually there was this book that has a daily color drawing prompt thing, but I haven't bought it. If I can get it, I might get it sometime if it's still available, and I might actually unbox it for you guys again when that ha- when that happens. But we'll see, we'll see. So this ends Inktober. Please, uh, watch out for the sketchbook flip through. That's gonna be pretty fun. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt, or subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this. See ya.